I've got a, a chair there where I spend an awful lot of time uh, not writing uh, but thinking. Um, it looks as if I'm falling asleep sometimes, to be absolutely honest, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking very, very hard. So I have a routine. I tend to uh, spend the mornings, uh, a couple of hours, editing uh, the writing that I've done the day before. If I possibly can, three hours uh, of creative writing in the, in the afternoon into early evening. And then uh, the only other ritual I have is very often waking up at three o'clock in the morning with a fantastic idea and scrambling around for a piece of paper to write in the dark. You know, and very often, you know, this great idea that I've written down in the middle of the night, I look at it in the morning, I can't read it for a start because I've written it in the dark. Um, uh, it doesn't look quite so good necessarily first thing in the morning. The other side of that particular coin is sometimes some of your best ideas uh, come to you then. So uh, that's my, my ritual. As for superstitions, I don't really have any. Uh, I read across the board as much as I possibly can. Um, I'm reading a, a wonderful book by Dave uh, Eggers, the, the Circle, at the moment, which is superb. I'm quite happy dipping into a, 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 Bill, a Bill Bryson or a, a Robert Harris. I do very much like to get stuck into the, the, uh, the latest uh, Peter James or Joe Nesbo or um, uh, James Patterson any of those writers, Adam Croft, you know, uh, they're all writers who are, you know, are prolific writers and they all do, uh, they all spin out the most extraordinary yarns. So yes, I like spending time with, with those, but not exclusively. I'll usually just get up, go into the next room, and uh, my daughters or my son will be uh, maybe doing a bit of homework. Uh, more often than not, um, having a heated debate about what to watch on the on the te uh, on the television or what game to play. Um, so I spend a bit of time with with, with them. Uh, and come back um, exhausted but strangely refreshed. Uh, I'm a great. I like a, a walk. I'll nip down to the gym. Um, not to work out, of course, it's got a very nice cafe down there with some very nice Danish pastries. Uh, I find that sort of combination uh, of work out at the gym to be hugely inspiring. So, yes, um, I just take myself out of this room um, and, and potter around and come back hopefully refreshed. I'm very fortunate in being able to have uh, made a living out of what I, I, I love doing. Um, and the writing side of it has always been a part of, of my life. I've always written uh, plays and various other things, radio and, and what have you. Uh, moving into writing novels and uh, crime novels in particular, murder mysteries, is, is, is something that only began four years ago. Um, but they seem to balance out quite well. Uh, when you act, it's usually a, a collaboration, an immediate collaboration, you with other actors on, be it on a television or film set or, or in, in the theatre. And uh, as we all know, the, the, the life of a writer tends to be uh, far lonelier uh, than that. And that's fine because if I'm working, I can always find time to, to, to write uh, uh, as well. And when I'm not working or choose not to um, do a particular job that I just don't want to do, then I can be at home uh, and uh, punching away at the, at the QWERTY. Uh, so, uh, again, it's, it's all a question of, of balance, but the, the two uh, um, creative pursuits seem to go uh, hand in hand pretty well. I'm delighted to say. <laughs>